Today I want to share a story, a journey of growth and self-discovery undertaken by a CFO who has been working for over 20 years in the world of finance. Our story begins with a highly proficient and skilled CFO who was facing an unexpected challenge. He joined a large corporate organization that valued collaboration and empathy. However, his past leadership style, shaped by a need for toughness, clashed with the culture of this organization. In the high-stake world of finance, leadership wasn't just about numbers anymore. It was now more about people and demonstrating a strong executive presence. This mismatch led to strained interactions, where his good intentions were often lost due to inappropriate ways of translating his messages, leaving his team feeling disconnected, disengaged and demotivated. Through coaching conversations and introspection, a profound realization emerged. Despite intending to convey empathy and support, his body language, tonality and expressions sent conflicting messages such as stress, worry, rush, pressure, aggression and an unwelcome push. The discovery shed light on the lack of alignment between his genuine intent and the unintentional impact of his nonverbal communication. Prompted by a simple yet probing question, the CFO delved into his past experiences. It became apparent that his pursuit for perfection was rooted in his childhood programming, which was to perform at his best so his father could accept him and appreciate him as a smart and intelligent kid. His father consistently said to him that you are not good enough. And that created huge negative beliefs like, if I don't work hard enough, I'm a failure. No matter how much I do, I will never be the best. Life is a struggle and nothing comes easy. Everything is about work and performance. That is, technical or functional skills are most important and people skills didn't matter much. I have to be always better than the others. People will not value me if I don't perform well. Now with all of these beliefs, his behavior was showing the negative impact. He was able to identify the pattern that he was always very harsh on himself to constantly prove that he was the best and he was enough. He was unknowingly replicating his past struggles in his present leadership approach. With newfound awareness, the CFO embarked on a transformative journey, recognizing the significance of self-nurturance. He began practicing daily affirmations, fostering a positive self-image and outlook. He was able to practice forgiveness and mend his relationship with his father to move forward. By practicing gratitude and affirmations and the shift in his limiting beliefs, he was able to realize that life is actually not a struggle and it is essentially his beliefs, biases, judgments, assumptions and experiences that governed his actions holding him back from living his full potential. This revelation sparked a fundamental shift in his approach to leadership, a shift from being overly critical of himself and others to being more compassionate and understanding. And that was the aha moment for him. Post every session, the CFO attempted to implement these changes in his professional interactions. Initially, it wasn't easy because we all know that old habits die hard. He faced resistance from within, battling the urge to go back to his old self because that was his comfort zone. Adapting to this new approach required commitment, patience and persistence and this was out of his comfort zone. The reflections, realizations and observations made him see the blind spots clearly and with commitment he started working on himself. As time passed, the transformation started showing results. 
the CFO's team noticed a shift in his demeanor and his communication style. He became more approachable, supportive and people oriented. Reflecting on this journey, the CFO recognized that his self-nurturance directly impacted his ability to nurture others. This perspective altered his interpretation of success. No longer just about achieving perfection, but about fostering growth and collaboration. Continuing on this path wasn't without its challenges. However, the CFO's evolution serves as a testament to the transformative power of self-awareness and compassion in leadership. Remember, true leadership isn't just about what we achieve, but how we nurture growth within ourselves and for those around us. He is now a more aware, conscious, happy and a successful leader who is able to demonstrate a strong executive presence in his workplace.